Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are playing more Blitz because I got tired of playing Rabbit. But anyway, we're playing more Blitz. Now this video, we are going to be, this video, we are going to be playing a game of chess. But this time, but this time, if a rook moves, I end the video. If a rook moves, I end the video. Let's begin. We get a 100 rated from America. Should we really start playing in London more? Yeah. Obviously, if he, obviously, I'm not expecting an H, uh, H6 or H5. He plays E5 last second. Knight, I'll play Knight F3. Next move, probably Knight C6 or something. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna try and go for a Scotch. E4, E5, not F3. This guy is taking a minute. But if a rook moves, the video does end. So, I mean, more video time for you guys. Man, the theory is legit. The, the theory is so simple. I don't know how you wait. I don't know how you've legit wasted almost a minute on it. E4, E5, I have 3, I have 6. If he goes Queen H5, that would just be very cool. C5. Why? Okay, if a rook moves, I can't, I mean, if the rook moves, I can't castle, which means I'll go knight c3. Yeah, you spent one minute, one second, one minute, one second, and five milliseconds on that move. d6. Okay, now you're getting into the game. Actually, I could have took this pawn. I'll go bishop c4. Easy developing move. I think he's gonna run out of time. Uh, knight c6. I still, um, obviously I can't move either of the rooks, cause that, that means I just end my own video. Who does that? So, let's think of, I should, I'm gonna go, let's see. I'll go knight g, I'm going knight, I'm gonna go knight g5. Double attack on F so frick I forgot his queen existed. Okay, that was dumb on my part. I'll attack his queen with D three. If he doesn't see this, he's uh Queen takes G two. Now I lose that rook. I'm uh, Alright, we're gonna do we're moving the king because castling sucks and you blundered a queen, thank you. He was he, I think he didn't pre move taking the rook, but he did but he did it so fast that he honestly ninety four. Sure. Obviously I'm not going bishop e five check. But I need to get this get I need to get this bishop into the game one way or another. Let's go b3 bishop b. Let's go b3 aiming the goals bishop a3 bishop d4. My queen's not on d1, so we're good. I'll kick it away with h3 because double attack on e2. Bishop e6. Bishop, offering a bishop trade. You know, I'll let him do the trade. So, 
Let's go. Let's go Bishop B2. But now, if he take, I he takes my bishop. I take with pawn. I have double C pawns, and the B and this B file is open, except for my queen. Not for my rook. G5. I'll go knight A4. Pretty tricky move, attacking this knight and this bishop. Bishop H6. I'll go C3. And this time I'm actually attacking the knight. So he has to move it. Unless he goes ooh, knight F3 check. I think that blunders. That blunders a knight, I think. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just dumb. Yeah, I'm just dumb. Now I, yeah, now I lose my queen. Who cares? Oh wait. Oh, I can't. I can't. Why can't I take? Oh, I'm check. That's all. Take my queen only one. Yep. Now I take. Man, and a, man, and a hundred rating fight. A hundred rated finding that. It's kind of weird. He takes on h3, okay. Let's go for... Let's go d4. Takes, takes, take, takes. Now takes, so takes. Takes and now I have an attack on his rook. What the heck? Uh, 